Watch this. And you're going to need a finger ring. Just like that, no water spills out. Watch the ring. It magically floats up the pencil. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you how to do three incredible magic tricks. Incredible! This first one is a colorful science trick that you can do at home. Watch this. the secret behind setting this up yourself. Okay, here's what you need to set this up. You're going to need some milk, some food coloring, and some dish soap. You'll also need a plate to put it on. Let's start out by pouring some milk onto the plate. Should be good there. So your next step is to take a drop of each one of the food colors and put them in the middle of the puddle of milk. I'm gonna put a drop of each right in the middle. We have eight different colors of food coloring here. Should make for a lot of cool different colors. And we add the dish soap. Now the last step is just to add a small drop of dish detergent to the middle of the food coloring pool. You wanna do that right in the middle, just a small drop will do it. Whoa! Alright, we switched over to using the eyedropper so that it doesn't come out as fast. You want a tiny little drop. It's gonna take a tiny little drop right in the middle. The Marangoni effect, also called the Gibbs Marangoni effect, is a mass transfer along an interface between two fluids due to a gradient of the surface tension. So basically the dish detergent changes the surface tension of the milk and causes all of the food coloring to immediately move to the outside. Then it creates this really cool effect where the food coloring is then like slowly moving because the dish detergent is pushing it through the milk like this. It creates this really cool like colorful display. It's so neat looking. So since a liquid with a high surface tension pulls more strongly on the surrounding liquid than the one with the low surface tension, the presence of a gradient in surface tension will naturally cause the liquid to flow away from the regions of low surface tension. So the liquid dish detergent has a really low surface tension. That's why when you put a drop of it in the middle of the milk, all of the food coloring flows to the outside where there's a higher surface tension. That's pretty cool looking. Take a little drop. And that is the Magic Marangani Effect. This next one's a really cool trick with stuff you probably already have around the house. Watch the ring.
the secret, here's how it's done. For this trick, all you're going to need is a pencil, a piece of invisible thread. This is obviously not invisible thread. This is just a normal piece of string so we can demonstrate it for you. And you're going to need a finger ring. So first things first, the piece of invisible thread needs to be attached to the top of the pencil. You can do that with a piece of magician's wax or tape. The ring is gonna go just like that on top of the pencil and the piece of thread. You can then attach the other end of the thread to your other hand or the thumb of the same hand that holds the pencil. Now what happens as you pull on the string, the ring rises up the pencil just like that. So as your other hand pulls on it, or if you have it attached to your thumb as you pull back with your thumb, the ring will just begin to magically levitate up the pencil. So it starts out at the bottom and then you put tension on it. That piece of invisible thread will just pull it up just like that. If you have the pencil prepped already, you can actually do this with a spectator's borrowed ring. Have them hold out their hand and make the ring jump off into their hand. A super incredible magic trick that makes it look like you have supernatural powers. And then magically rise up the pencil. And that is how you do the magic rising ring on the pencil trick. Here's a simple magic trick that looks totally impossible. Okay, check this out. So I have a pencil here. I also have a paper cup and some water. I'm just gonna pour the water into the paper cup here. Perfect. Now, take my pencil and actually stick it right through. the cup just like that. None of the water spills whatsoever. You can see the pencil going through the cup. Watch. Go all the way through. Just like that. No water spills out. Check this out. Alright, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here's what you need to pull off the magic pencil through the cup trick. You're gonna need a plastic cup, a paper cup, some water, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. First step, cut the plastic cup in half so that this part of the cup can go down inside your paper cup, just like that. This is what's going to catch the water as you pour it into the cup and allow you to slide the pencil through the cup with no water spilling out. You now wanna take your scissors and make a small hole on each side of the cup, about in the center, but a little bit towards the front. So the plastic cup on the inside allows the pencil to slide through just like that without any of the water inside spilling. So we can start out like this, pour some water into the cup, and then the pencil will slide right through to the other side. So you have the pencil through the cup, you can then remove it just like this, pour your spectator a drink. And that is the secret of the magic pencil through the cup trick. That is it for this episode. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might enjoy it too. Leave me a comment down below with which trick was your favorite and what you'd like to see in the next episode of How To Magic. Your idea could be the next video, Leave me a comment down below and let me know what type of magic you'd like to see next. It's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send an email to this email address with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and congratulations to our winners. If you missed our last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by checking it out right over there. Follow me on Instagram at Evan Rosenman. The shop's right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.